Okay, so I hope you guys can see what I'm kind of doing here. And I'm going to actually mount this, my iPhone, as you can see, hopefully down there, right here. Um, and today, I went and bought a, hold on, um, excuse me, I have the sniffles. This, I don't know if you can see it, right here, right there. And it is one of these universal throttle assists cruise control, whatever you want to call it, and basically it allows you to, when you get to your speed, kind of push this down up against your brake lever, and you can see, or it should, keep the throttle in place, and then basically when you slow down, you just push it, and then she's back to normal again. So it came with this piece here, hope again you can see this, so this piece here, which just kind of snaps on, and they come in two sizes, 7 8 inch and one, 1 inch, as well as this silicone band, which is what it sits on. So what I'm going to do is just take a quick ride, and uh, I'm going to go see, when I'm actually at a cruising speed, how well she does. So we'll shall see, which is why I have this here. Hopefully this gives me a better accurate of my speed. Um, warm up today, so I'm going to start, and I'll talk to you once we get back on the road. All right. Alright, so I think this is kind of going to be where I start right here. So this is a, from here on there's some good large stretches of road that I should be able to decipher whether uh, this is working or not. So um, hopefully again you can see, you'll see one of my speedometers, uh, the one on my phone is definitely more accurate, but the key really is just to see if the number is staying somewhat stationary um, as I'm traveling. So we shall see. And uh, yeah, there's there's a couple of good strips of road here with no lights, so we should see how it goes. Okay, so I realize this is fairly far away. Uh, this truck's doing about 79. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if not a red light up there. So I'm not going to do it here. Yeah, I just talked about road with no lights and the first thing I hit is a light so I'm gonna get in this lane hopefully that this guy goes faster all right well let's just say that was speed limit so I'm gonna push this down now so on the lever okay oh, hands off speed is 78, 77. I think the, the key is if I give it a little bit more. So she tends to have a little bit of a slip to it. But it definitely is good to get your hand off there for sure. Um, the key is, is that you have to remember that you have to pull the, pull the throttle backwards. You can't just let it go because um, it's not going to go anywhere because that's why you have the throttle with this. Okay, here we're going to disappear. This could be better for me now. Let's see. Hopefully I can get through here. You're turning, you're turning. I'm going straight. No cars coming through. We're good. Okay, so I'm going to get it up a little bit higher because I think that might be the key. So let's get it up around 80 ish. And put that down. So 83, 84. Okay, right there. She's climbing. I'm going to turn it down a little bit just so she can actually yeah see, I think that's the key right I think the key is that you set it when you're going a little bit faster because by the time you get your hand away um, she starts pulling back so right now you'll see I'm hovering right at 80 I'm hoping I can see that 79 80 I'm going up a hill so of course she's increasing a bit but, there you go. Of course, again, I'm increasing. Alright, light's going up, so we'll pull down the throttle so that she releases a bit. Alright, so we're coming through the uh, 60 area. Let's see how that does a bit more. 
Now I don't know if I would entirely use this as a cruise control because unlike you know uh, probably a high end cruise control or a car's cruise control, it doesn't actually um, make sure you're going a certain speed, right? All it's doing is locking that throttle in position, which you know I know for me one of the biggest things because I do ride when it's cold, you know. So here it's October, November, you know. Hopefully I can get it into November. It's chilly out. So um, you know, my left hand, it's nice to be able to take your left hand and just kind of bring it down and you know, move, move your hands around and do all this kind of stuff, which you can't do with your other hand. So that your important right hand it's 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 freezing. So being able to sit here and be like, okay, I'm I'm close to where I need to be. Okay, I'm just gonna take that hand off and just you know, uh, stretch it around a bit so that, you know, you're not getting any kind of hand cramp. And uh, for anybody that's hearing that bree bree sound, I don't know if you can hear it, I can hear it. That's this little speedometer app thing that I have running right here. Um, that app also tells me where there's um, radar. Uh, photo radar, red light cameras, or whatever, I don't even know what it is, something like that. So, whenever you're kind of close to one or where one could be at times, it goes off on its own. So, okay, so by the time I hit that, I was 55 miles an, kilometers an hour, I had to pre go down the hill. So, this is really one of the big differences with something like a throttle assist, like this on a motorcycle, right? Because I'm going down the hill, you know, if I wanted to keep the speed, I would actually have to reduce the amount of fuel that was going into the bike. But I'm putting the exact same amount of fuel as really as if I was going up the hill. So, you know, I was slower going up, but I'm much faster going down. So, alright, so I'm at 75 right now. It's going to go up to 80 over here. Yeah, yeah, ding ding. Okay, and you can see I'm kind of equaling out here. So 80, so I'm going to I'm gonna ramp up a little bit. Just get me in that zone. 80, 81, good, somewhere in that range. She's increasing. The nice thing is, is she's increasing, I can see I'm going a little bit too fast. So I'll just kind of pull the throttle, you know, decelerate the throttle a bit. So, yeah, 88, 89, I'll just pull it down a little bit more. The drop, 87, 86, 85, 84. Okay. I'm just kind of sitting there right now. 82, 81. So that's all right, you know. Again, I don't know if I would be like, oh, it's so that I don't have to use my hands ever. No, it's really, I think, just so that you have the ability to take your hands off once in a while, right? I think that's why they call it a throttle assist, not a cruise control. So, um, so 20 bucks, I have to say. Uh, it's definitely nice to be able to get that one hand off the handlebar every once in a while. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's that's pretty good. That's all, that's all right. It works it works well enough. But uh, the only thing that you do have to remember, and it's tricky, right, is that when you get you know you have to slow down, you actually have to push it. You have to push your throttle the other way because normally you would just kind of let your hand go and your bike would decelerate, but it's not gonna do that. So that's definitely something that, you know, you have to get used to. Now the bonus is, you really only have to get used to that when you're using it. Because if not, it's always just kind of up in the air like this, right? So it's never actually touching it unless you accidentally hit it, which I don't think you're ever going to really do because it's way up there. But, no, it's good, you know. I paid, uh, well, I tried buying it from a place and they were sold out and, you know, I, I don't know how many months I waited for it. It never came and then today I just decided to go to a different bike shop. You know, because I, I have a little bit of loyalty to some of the shops, especially some of the smaller shops. And, but, you know, two months is too much. The season's almost over. And uh, I really, you know, have, like I said in my last video, have two, two fairly long rides coming up. And, uh, Having this would be nice. Um, so, 
I think it was, you know, $21 at this one shop, and this was 20, 23, I think, plus tax. So, came out to like $27. Um, which, really, to be honest with you, when you think about what it is, uh, it seems fairly, fairly pricey. But, it's really only something you, you buy once, and it's, uh, it's done, right? And, If you, uh, now unfortunately for me, you know, I will be going to a much bigger bike next time and because of that, I'm sure the bike will have bigger bars and because it'll have bigger bars, this one was bought for a 7 8 inch, which means that it probably won't fit. But, my wife's going to ride this, so it's nice to know that she'll have this option on it for the, you know, year or two that she rides it. So, yeah, anyway, there you go. Um, this thing comes in many names many brands uh, Phantom is one of them but you know I have a link uh, on my uh, Canada if you're on cruising the cruisingcanada.com site there'll be a link at the bottom uh, to where you can get it through Amazon and if the prices are very similar to what I paid for it you may, may even pay less um, so you know it's a good investment and uh, for 20 20 something dollars gives you kind of like a cruise control for your right hand so thumbs up all right guys talk to you again later yeah okay so on I I'm gonna put that back on again oh that's windy so on a side note I don't even know if this may be a, a factor as well it is really quite windy about uh, I'm on this stretch here and the wind is blowing me around like you know around like crazy um, and that may also have something to do with this throttle maybe slipping a bit. I don't know. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's blowing me right and left all over the place. I swear it wasn't that windy like 10 minutes ago. But, alright, I'm out. And, uh, ride safe. And, uh, you should see another video coming from me, uh, early this, uh, coming week. So, as I do the ride, no, what is it called? Canadian Guide Dogs for the Blind Ride. So, that is coming up this Sunday. And, uh, that, that doesn't look motorcycle friendly right there. Um, yeah, anyway, the weather looks good, but, you know, who knows? So if it is good, I'll make a video. If it isn't good, I will pass and we'll uh, see you next time. Alright, ciao, later, bye.